So you might have noticed, uh, as I've had a chance to meet a number of you who I've known for a long time, but I've had this smile on my face. Uh, this is a great event for the city of Gainesville, for Alachua County, for our state. RTS began in 1974. That first year, we provided transportation to a million people, which sounded like a lot. And in the 40 years since then, we've grown each year with a lot of help from Congresswoman Brown, with our, our state delegation, our long-term commitment uh, every year after year by our city commission, so that last year we transported over 11 million passenger trips for RTS. So it, it didn't happen by uh, just the city of Gainesville, the MTPO, our federal delegation, our state delegation support, uh, all of the employees for RTS have all brought us here to this place today. And we want to thank everybody who's been involved. Now, I am very excited about this transportation system. And my understanding, this is the third year that you all have gotten 11 million riderships. That deserve a major hand. Who would think that Gainesville, Florida has the best ridership in the state of Florida? Woo! Having worked here for four years and being a student here, you definitely don't want 50,000 cars on the road. So this was innovative insight. And now Santa Fe has joined the team. And so this is, this is the way government and the community should work for the benefit of everybody. And it's not just the university. Everybody get a chance to ride this fabulous system. And so I am so happy to, to be a part of it. We commend the great accomplishments that we're celebrating today. Only about two years ago, the then past Administrator Peter Rogoff and I stood out outside across the way there as we did the groundbreaking. And today we stand in a most beautiful, most beautiful energy efficient building. So we are so very proud of all that you have accomplished. Let me just share that nearly 30, almost $40 million, $39.8 million of federal funds thanks to all the support you have in Washington, D.C., has come your way to be invested in this facility. So we applaud you, we commend you for your vision and for improving transit for the surrounding communities. You truly are a role model. If you were to say, we're gonna go to a garage where we turn a wrench and get oil every place, you wouldn't think this many people would show up, but this just tells you how, how truly wonderful a facility this is. Um, I wanted to just first uh, say something about, uh, I guess Reverend Griner had it right when he said this is about both progress and renewal. We have an outstanding tra transit system as it currently exists, and so what's really neat about this is this is really going to uh, take it in, in a, in a, further down the road, you might say. Um, we have 82 square miles that uh, regional transit system services. 33 city routes with 87 buses, 9 UF campus routes, 18 buses, uh, Saturday routes, Sunday routes, and even later Gator uh, routes and Gator Aider game day transportation. Now I just want to say um, that this is the way politics is supposed to work. We hear about the gridlock in DC and Tallahassee and we even have our fights here locally, but it's, it's safe to say that uh, we have all pulled together uh, to make our transit system the best in the state and a model around the country. Um, Congresswoman Brown said this is the way it's supposed to work, and it truly is. I'm very proud to lead what I think might be the most politically diverse commission in the state of Florida. Uh, many different backgrounds, different viewpoints, different party affiliations, but we've really found common ground on this issue in particular and other issues too. And that's, that's what people want. That's what they want to see. Um, but it's not just the city commission, obviously. This is a triumph of partnerships. And we've talked about the University of Florida partnership that has really catapulted our ridership and our transit service into the next level. And now it's about a partnership with Santa Fe College and the 
the outstanding involvement and the investment in this initiative. And, and finally, it's about a community partnership. A lot of times people can look around and see things government does and they scratch their head, sometimes rightfully so. This is one the community can look at and say, this is what happens when you put, when you put your partisanship aside or anything like that and you just make it work. And that's what happens. This is also about a partnership with our federal delegation. And it's safe to say we've, you know, we've always had two senators and two representatives that we bring our federal agenda to and say, we need your help. And, and they've always worked for us. They, they've always been supportive. But there's been one member of that delegation who has truly stood out. She's stepped above and beyond countless times for the city of Gainesville, and that is Congresswoman Brown. This facility in all its awesomeness sits in District 1. District 1, and I'm very, very proud to have it here. It can indeed, yes. It can indeed provide jobs for people. And I've been on your website. I have some quotes from Congresswoman Brown when she first uh, author got the grant and sent it to Gainesville. Just a few words beyond a doubt, she says, transportation funding is a win-win since it benefits our economy by creating quality jobs while simultaneously improving our nation's infrastructure. Well, it's all about the jobs for District 1 and getting people to work. And having a job and not being able to get to work is fruitless. We have 80% of our RTS riders are college students, but we have a large district that we need to get to work. And we need to improve that percentage quantumly. On the east side, we have students that need to get to school, especially Santa Fe, and we need to get good routes for them. We have workers that need to get to work, and I believe uh, the universities, Shands, and most major employers provide free transportation if we can just get the routes to the workers. You're hearing me. <laughs> and we have people who need to shop, and there are no shops on the east side they need to get to the west side to shop. So we need routes for them. Now with this new facility, hopefully we can expand our city growth, expand our jobs, we have them, expand our workers, and make Gainesville a prosperous place for everybody to live, work, and play. Well, it's an honor to be a part of this RTS celebration representing the University of Florida. Nothing helps us celebrate operate our campus more smoothly on a day-to-day -day basis than your role, your role, in busing our students from class to home and around campus. It's about 1050, and at this very moment, 1,440 UF students and staff are out there riding RTS buses. Already this morning, city buses have carried more than 10,000 members of the UF community to campus, along with their backpacks, bikes, and laptops. Those numbers add up. Students and staff traveled more than 18 million miles on buses last year. That's enough to circle the globe nearly 773 times. When you take single occupancy vehicles off the road, you also reduce fuel consumption and pollution, including heat trapping carbon dioxide. We estimate that UF riders save 5.8 million pounds of CO2 emissions last year by taking the bus rather than driving. This is the direction our society must move as we confront the day-to-day -day pressures of a growing city and the long-term impacts of a warming globe. UF's partnership with RTS roared out of the gate 14 years ago after the university began charging a transportation access fee, allowing students to ride for free. Today, seven out of 10 riders on local buses are students and we help pay for more than half of the fleet. For RTS and for UF, our challenge is to accelerate this progress. Thank you, Congresswoman, and you know, all the representatives, I'm not gonna mention names because uh, I'm sure I'm gonna miss somebody. But thank you for your support and getting the funding for this facility, and we need for buses though.
We need money for buses too. <laughs> and, but I want to thank my staff uh, and all the 700 workers that work on this facility uh, to make it happen. So I just want to show off for the facility. So um, of course my wife is here with me that she never comes to these events. So thank you for being here. Um, and my RTS staff, uh, I can't have any words to say that, but thank you. We have uh, also a good uh, quality management, project management team that we, never, we didn't mention, but they make sure that we stay out of trouble with FDA. So thank you everybody for coming. Mr. Gomez is our transit director, and if we could have a round of applause for him, please. Without his direction and our support behind him, this facility would not have happened. So he is a very gracious person, very humble person. So that's why I ask for that additional round of applause. Jesus, we appreciate you.